Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 951. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you the Spellbinders Inspire Dies. Spellbinders has released a new set of dies that they call Inspire. And they are just smaller sets with a few things. So this one has five different arrows. We have a couple flowers, then birds on a wire, and then three different words as part of the celebration set. And I've made some cards. And what I've done is I had cards that I previously made for some classes that had different mixed media backgrounds. And then I cut all the shapes just out of black. And I just want to show you how if you have this busy background, just by adding a black die cut on top, um, can be really effective. So here I have the shoot set with the five arrows and then I use the happy birthday from the celebration. Then here are the two flowers um, from the flower power two set and then I added you and me from the celebration. Here I use the birds on a wire with the thank you. And then I had this card that had this print on it. So I just put thank you to the on the bottom and then just let the card um, pattern stand alone. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to make a card. So I have this background here that I'd previously done, I think with some spray inks. And I cut out my birds on a wire um, just out of black cardstock. And so I'm just going to sort of lay them on and then I cut out the happy birthday and it's a really fine die. Now my suggestion when cutting out these really fine dies is if you put a layer of wax paper between your die and your cardstock, um, it makes it a lot easier to pop out the dies. I had done that on a previous previous video I had done using Spellbinders dies. But in case you missed that one, that is my tip for cutting out these smaller shapes. Then I like to use the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Now, if I was doing an art journal page, I would just use multimedium because you can cover the whole page, but I don't want to cover my whole card using multimedium. The other option is if you have a Xyron, some people put it through their Xyron, um, little sticker makers, but I like to use this Scotch Quick Dry. You can see I can get really fine glue detail there. And then I just place it on my card. And because I've used a liquid adhesive, if I needed to, I had that time just to move it around a bit. And if any of the glue comes out, you just rub it off with your finger and it will dry clear. So I will do the same to these birds. And I like to cut the dies out of black because it just gives you that shadow look. And I think it looks really pretty. My adhesive is getting a little clogged, which happens with liquid adhesives. I always have a pin handy. There we go. So again, I'm just going to place that on. And black die cuts too is another great way to use these busy backgrounds. So if you like to make a lot of backgrounds or practice with different art journaling techniques, um, this is a nice way to use them up. It's just by cutting something out of black and putting it on. Line up happy. And then we just need to glue on birthday. And you can see the fine, fine detail this die has. Oh, my glue got ahead of me. It's okay. Kleenex. 
put it down and then I will take that excess glue off. It sometimes happens. And then when it dries, the glue will dry clear. So simply like that, I've taken a busier background and by adding the black die cuts, um, I now have a really cute card to give to somebody. And those are the Inspire Dies by Spellbinders. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scrubtime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Hero Arts paint, print, stamp, and some neon inks. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.